Hi everyone, my name is Mar and I'm the creative director for Team Hair and Makeup. This is Samantha and today I'm going to be teaching how to utilize bridal hair extensions. Now of course a lot of our brides end up wearing extensions and so what we've done is we've come up with a line of extensions that's made for brides. So we have two different types of extensions and today I'm going to use on Samantha a seven piece set that we have. And one thing I like about our extensions is that not only are they made really well, but they also are human hair. And they can be dyed, cut, whatever you wanna do with them. Being that Sam has more fine hair, but a lot of it, and she wants to wear her hair half up, half down, I'm gonna add in our seven piece hair extensions. And they're gonna match more of her highlighted pieces versus her root. If I matched her root, her hair would be completely dark. Okay, so we already set her hair. This is a very beachy, very loose, very natural looking curl. There's not a lot of product in it, which is how I like to do hair. I don't like to do hair that's too stiff. I make sure that it's very natural and very soft looking, and that's more about the prep, but it also it has a lot to do with the hair extensions. The nice thing about these hair extensions is that not only are they human hair, but they're all color treated. So your curl, your wave, even your straight do is gonna last a lot longer than if it was just done with your natural hair. And again, I'm matching the highlighted part of her hair, the brightest part. The contrast is gonna give the illusion that she's got even more hair. So with blonde hair extensions, it can be a little tricky because there's so many different colors that the hairdresser will put into the hair that when you're adding extensions, you really have to decide if you wanna go more with the low lights or more with the highlights. With blondes, I prefer to go more with the highlights. I think that brighter is a little bit better. It looks really, really soft and really natural looking. You wanna make sure that you're putting the clips where you want your volume to be. You always wanna make sure that the hair extensions are at the temple because that's where you're gonna have the most narrow part of your head. So I like to place extensions in this area, right around here, and right in the back. You know, you're at your wedding, you're walking down the aisle. Bye, you wanna make sure that your hair really blends. It's really important that the color completely matches. One of the things I like to do too when using hair extensions, especially when we're working with blonde hair, is I like to somehow weave their hair into the extensions. So in this case, I'm gonna create kind of a twisted sort of weave thing, braid deal back here. You could wear flowers in your hair, you could wear a hairpin in your hair, but I like to create something fun with just the person's hair alone. So, as you can see, it looks really natural and it's, again, it matches more of her top part of her hair and um, I wanted it to be just a little bit brighter on her skin tone as well. Now, from here, this is just a half up, half down, very simple, very beachy look. The nice thing too is that when you look at the back, it actually gives you a little bit more texture. The texture from the extensions is gonna be a little bit more refined than your natural hair. And so here is Sam, our lovely real person model, with her hair extensions in place, and now she's ready to walk down the aisle. What do you think, Sam? I love it. <laughs>